What's going on guys? Jeep Energy here and in this YouTube video I'm going to be talking to you guys all about my drop shipping journey, all about how I was able to make five million dollars in five months drop shipping. I want to talk about my entire story with drop shipping, when I made the breakthroughs, when I began, the obstacles and the failures, all that good stuff. But before I even jump into the drop shipping stuff, because that's going to be the majority of this video in terms of my journey, I do want to share my overall story of becoming an entrepreneur because I've been an entrepreneur before I got into drop shipping. I know for a lot of people out there, drop shipping is the first thing that they ever do. But for my case, actually, I was actually doing and running many other businesses before I got into drop shipping. So I want to share that with you guys. So currently, I'm 26 years old. I live in Orange County, California. Love it. Born and raised in California. Would never leave. And my journey with entrepreneurship really began when I was 17. Uh, so when I was 15 years old, my dad told me, woke me up one day, knocked on my door, and he was like, you need to go get a job. He's like, I'll pay for food, I'll pay for shelter, I'll pay for clothing, but anything else, going to the movies, hanging out with your friends, etc., you gotta pay for it yourself. So being as any 15 year old would be, I was super bummed, did not wanna go get a job, but I ended up going out and seeking out all these different jobs, right? So I took 12 different jobs in the span of two years from 15 to 17 while I was in high school. And I literally kept getting fired or quitting from every single job that I took. And it was actually crazy because I was 17 and I was like, man, it's time for me to apply to college. I had these big aspirations, you know, I'm gonna go to a good college, I'm gonna go work a corporate nine to five, get a business degree, and I thought life would be great. Big problem though, right? When you can't work 15 hours a week after school, you got a big, big problem, right? I was just not meant to work a job, but at that moment at 17 years old, I thought there was something wrong with me as a human, right? I thought I had some sort of like disease or some sort of like condition that didn't allow me to work a job. So crazy enough, one day after school, I kind of came panicking home and I decided to go on Google and I typed in like, man, why can't I work a job and why do I keep getting fired? And the first video that I saw, I remember this clearly was a video from Richard Branson. So for those of you guys who don't know, who don't know him, he actually owns uh, Virgin Atlantic, Virgin Records, all that good stuff. <coughs> Sorry guys, battling, battling a cold uh, or a flu, whatever the heck it's been, uh, it's been rough. So if you hear me coughing or my voice sounds off, that's what's going on. But my big motto is you either run the day or the day runs you. And so there's no way that I'm gonna allow a cold or a flu to run my day. So I'm out here doing everything I can while battling the cold or flu, that's what you gotta do if you wanna be successful, right? Run the days. But anyway, so I pop up and I see this big video from uh, Richard Branson where he talks about if you feel unemployable and you feel miserable and it feels like you're in prison when you work a job, you need to be an entrepreneur. That was the gist of this video and I saw this for the first time at 17. I didn't even know what entrepreneur meant or entrepreneurship was, right? Because this is nine years ago, right? So this was a long time ago before everything was so popularized as it is today. So I'm looking there and I'm like, man, an entrepreneur, what is that? So I start Googling it and I come across all these little articles and videos and tidbits and I was like, huh, seems kind of cool. I want to give it a shot. And you know, it seemed great because everyone that was portraying this entrepreneurial lifestyle, even back then, nice cars, they're writing good stuff about it. They look like they were wearing Rolexes and nice, they look like they had good lives, right? So I said, screw it, I'm gonna become an entrepreneur, right? That was my declaration. And all my life, I've always been super impatient, so when I see an opportunity, I just jump on it, right? Whether I know what the hell I'm doing or not, I take action, right? That's, that's what makes me me, right? And that's part of the big reason why I've been able to win in so many different things is because I take action literally without caring about anything. So I went ahead, I took action, and my first business was like a web agency. We made websites, did some social media stuff, basically a multimedia agency, ran that from 17 to 19 while going to school, ended up selling that company at 19, grew it to about 20 or so employees, sold it for a profit, moved to my second company, which was called statfuse.com. It was actually an educational software that helped high school students get into college. So we created these algorithms, created this entire platform that told students essentially what their admission chances were and college chances were of getting into various universities uh, across the United States. Grew that company to over 250,000 users, ended up selling that business a few, late, a few years later as well. Um, man, I've started over 15 businesses now, including all the drop shipping stuff I do. I've started you know, mobile apps businesses, Amazon FBA, um, eBooks businesses, paperback businesses. I've had a blog in the past that I was monetizing. 
Um, so I've pretty much done it all, right? Like web startups, social media agencies, A to Z, I've literally done it all. And so that's my journey before I really got into drop shipping. Couple other things to add. I've given a TEDx talk. Uh, it's not on my channel here, but if you guys go on YouTube and you just type in Jeep Energy TEDx, you'll see it's hosted by official TEDx channel. You guys can check it out. Really cool video where I talk about uh, the perfect age to pursue your dreams. So I've done a little bit of public speaking, written some books, all that good stuff. Okay, so now to get into drop shipping, okay? So I got into drop shipping in about early 2018 it was about late january to early february of 2018 okay i remember seeing this ad okay i was i think it was on youtube as well okay so i saw this ad where this kid was talking about man i did x amount of revenue in the last 30 days drop shipping and it caught my eye just like i'm sure it's caught many of your eyes okay and i was like drop shipping what the heck is this started doing some research learning the lingo all that good stuff and then i figured it out and i was like man this seems so much easier than amazon fba and at that time last year amazon fba was primarily my biggest business okay so i was there stand, sitting there looking at it and i was like man this seems this seems too good to be true this seems easy but man people actually buy products from your own website from like a random shopify store i was mind blown okay so i said you know what let me give this a shot so february 2018 i put together like i said i just dive in take action and i went in and i started my own shopify website and the first couple of weeks, I literally sold nothing, not one product, okay? I was going, man, what the heck? Like, why can't I sell anything? But I see all these advertisements and all these people saying they're selling ridiculous amounts of product, right? So I ended up saying, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm being a little too cocky. Maybe my experience from Amazon FBA and my other businesses aren't carrying over here. Let me do some actual research. So I spent a lot more time now diving in deep, right? Watching all the YouTube videos and the YouTubers and the other drop shipping gurus and the free articles on the internet and joining the Facebook group. So I did all this stuff, okay? So for the next month or so, I dedicated all my time to doing this. And then I thought, man, I got this in the bag. Easy money, right? Went back, relaunched, found a new product, tested it, and boom, flat on my face. Met with failure again. And I was like, what the heck? Like, why was I not able to sell any products again? Is this a scam? Is this fake? Like, is this drop shipping thing not real? That's what was going through my head, right? And this was maybe around March or April of... Uh, 2018 right so last year and I'm sitting there I'm thinking man this doesn't seem right so I ended up saying you know what let me try this again okay then I said let me pay for some resources right so I was like okay doing it myself didn't work the free material out on the internet didn't work and I kept seeing all these people pitching their courses so I was like shoot let me take a couple courses so I took one two three four five to courses in total over the next couple months took everything they said I tried implementing it but again just failure, 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 failure. And it came to a point, and I remember this was about the end of May of 2018, so exactly a year from now. And I was looking at my bank balances and I was looking at how much calculating out, how much money I'd invested into Facebook ads and Shopify stuff. And I was like, man, I've lost over $10,000, okay? So I lost over $10,000 the first six months I did drop shipping. I literally sold nothing, not one sale. Right, and I thought, man, this is the biggest scam in the world. This doesn't make sense. But I just kept seeing those pop up videos, right? So I was getting ready to quit, give up, and you know, I never give up or quit at anything, but this was one of the times where I got very, very close. But those videos just kept popping up here and there and here, and I was like, man, there's no way this many people are figuring it out, and I'm not, right? So I was like, this seems legitimate, like it just seems. It seems too wholesome for everyone to advertise for it to be a scam. So I was like, okay, let me change my approach. The courses aren't working. The free material is not working. Let me go out and study the top retail brands in the world. So at that time, and even today, Fashion Nova was popping off, okay? Fashion Nova was just killing the game. So I was like, let me study these guys, right? They seem like a regular brand. There was another company that was blowing up that I kept hearing news about. My friends owned their watches. It's called Movement Watches, MVMT Watches, okay? So that was the second company. And then I found a handful of other stores that I looked at the mall. And I was like, man, like stores like Forever 21, Victoria's Secret, uh, Foot Locker, H&M. So I started studying all of these guys, right? And I was like, man, these guys have been in the mall. They've been surviving mall to mall for years. Their retail stores have high levels of traffic. They seem to be popping off, right? So I was like, man, if all these guys are popping off, I gotta study what all of these guys have and start ignoring, you know, the six and seven figure drop shippers that are claiming to make that money because I'm not learning from them, right? So that's what I ended up doing. So I spent all of June, I actually probably about 15 days of June, spent about 16 hours a day just study, 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 consuming 
everything that I could possibly learn about these drop ship, I mean, not these drop shipping, but these big retail brands. And I started figuring out so many things that none of the other gurus, drop shippers, YouTube videos, articles, anything else taught. And I was like, man, this is different, okay? So on June 15th, I say, you know what? Let me go out and give this a shot, okay? So I went out and I launched, uh, I rebranded my entire store, found a winning product that I thought was a much more confident winner, and I launched it, right? And I launched it around like June 16th. And from June 16th to June 30th, something incredible happened. I started getting a bunch of sales on my product, okay? And it was some random product from AliExpress, Chinese shipping times, all that bad stuff, but I was getting a bunch of sales, okay? And I probably did, I don't remember the exact amount anymore, but like somewhere close to like fifteen dollars to $20,000 in those 15 days. So whatever I had learned from these big retail brands was actually making a lot of sense and I was able to apply it. The issues that I ran into was A, I had a lot of customers pissed off because my product had a tough time getting through inspections in a lot of countries, the inspections and customs, shipping times were way too long. And um, worst of all, was the fact that everybody literally copied my idea as soon as I started making num doing numbers, right? So within like a week, I saw people copying my videos, people copying my logos, my branding, literally everything, right? Everything was copied. And I was like, man, there is no way to be successful just finding random products on AliExpress like everyone else and offering them. There's no way to make money doing that, right? And then I started looking at Fashion Nova and these other guys and I was like, man, what is it that they have that other people can't copy? And that's when I hit the jackpot. It was a brand, right? Like even if you take the same phone that's an Apple iPhone and you sell it for $200, you're not gonna sell enough because Apple has that name brand. They're not gonna trust you and there's so many things that go into having a brand. So I made this massive discovery between like June, so I, this was at the end of June, right? Where I was like, damn, I'm struggling. Decided to turn off the store again even though I finally saw some sales and now it validated for me that this was a legitimate business model, so I went all in. So I spent all of July thinking about what kind of brand I wanted to create, right? So July 31st, that was the first day that I launched my official new brand, okay? So July 31st, I launched my new brand and from July 31st to December 31st, exactly five months of time, I did some of the most unbelievable numbers that anyone can ever expect, okay? I did $5 million in revenue using drop shipping, okay? About three and a half million of those dollars came from one store and the remaining one and a half million came from two other stores that I launched in September and November of 2018 for a combined revenue of $5 million. And all of these were legitimate drop shipping brands that I was building. Even today, I'm building, and the best part is that all of these brands have been consistent, so they're consistently making me revenue month after month. I'm not worried about people stealing my products or any of that stuff, because I've got a brand, so I'm far ahead of them. And um, now, yeah, pretty much now I've you know worked with quite a bit of students, mentoring them, helping them. I've got a drop shipping course of my own, my own academy. So I do help a lot of people out and they've been seeing awesome results too. But that's pretty much what my drop shipping story and journey is, right? So it's been an incredible ride. Uh, literally, uh, you know, I, I, even though I tell everyone like, oh, I made $5 million in five months, I'm always sure to add to them that, look, the first seven months, I did jack squat, right? Like the first six months, I lost $10,000. Then the seventh month, I literally made 20,000 or so in revenue, but the profit was still very minimal and it wasn't successful, right? I still consider that not a success because it wasn't something long-term. So that's my drop shipping story, that's my journey, and I'm gonna try to share with you guys as much value as I can from all of the things that I've learned past, present, and future, and hopefully you guys subscribe, stay along for the ride. I'm super excited to share all this value with you guys. So subscribe to get notified for my latest videos, I've got some links in my uh, about section and under the video for, you know, if you guys wanna follow me on social media, whatever it is. And like I mentioned, I do have a drop shipping course and an academy where I teach a bunch of the businesses that I've started. If you're interested, you can find that in the about section. Other than that, guys, feel free to leave comments, questions, concerns, issues, anything, and I'll be happy to get back to you guys. Thanks, guys.